Niagara Falls. Mike Trinisky of Fulton, New York. And William Pinter from Scarborough, Ontario. Hello, everybody. This is Van Miller, and for the seventh consecutive year, we are happy to bring you the finals of this great bowling event, and we want to welcome Bells as co-sponsor of the Channel 4 Open this year. These four bowlers have been narrowed down from a total field of 486 entries in this tournament. With me is the tournament director, Frank Cascio. He'll be bringing you background and commentary on the action today. And, Frank, what are we going to see in today's final? Well, Van, bowlers came from all over Western New York, Pennsylvania, and Canada again this year to enter the competition. Here are the final matchups. In the first game, Kevin Iwaniak bowls Eric Johns. In the second match, Mike Trinisky bowls William Pinner. The winner of those two matches advanced to the final match and bowled for $5,000 first prize. It should be a great hour. Stay tuned. Okay. Now, in addition to the cash awards that Frank mentioned, uh, there's a bonus uh, for the bowlers this year. They'll be competing for $2,000 in gift certificates from Bells. And we'll be back to start the action on the Channel 4 Open in a moment. And we are ready with our first match. You're looking at Eric Johns, 33 years old, 5'10", 195 pounds, works at Harrison Radiator in Lockport, lives in Niagara Falls, and he has a composite 199 average. He's had a 300 and a three-game set of 799. The first ball in the Channel 4 open is a strike. What a nice way to start. And he'll take on Kevin Awaniak, who is uh, 25 years old, 6'6", 230 pounds, out of West Seneca. He has a composite 203 average. His high single is 290. His high three-game set is 816. John's put it right in there, Frank, didn't he? Well, Eric has had an awful lot of tournament experience lately in the area, Van, and he's bowled on the TV show not too long ago. He bowls well at Arrow Lanes and practiced well and very familiar with the lane conditions. And Kevin Awaniak will shoot a seven pin. Kevin is out of Niagara Falls Community College, Niagara Falls High School, attended North Dakota State, played football and basketball has an associate degree, or we're talking there about Eric Johns. And Awaniak cleans up the seven pin. He's out of Transfiguration School and Erie Community College. Two-year all-Catholic and all-Western New York player. Had a high average at the Northeast uh, sectional in Erie in 1980 at 212. Joys darts, basketball, racquetball, Wally ball, indoor soccer, and golf. Wally ball? Wally ball. <laughs> if you watch Kevin Van, he's an extremely fluid style and a long reach. He's a, he's a tall guy. He really reaches out for the pins and he gets the ball out on the lane with tremendous roll. And again, has a seven pin to shoot at. This is, of course, one game, and the winner goes into the finals to play for $5,000. I want to tell you that. Uh, there's a Channel 4 open bonus. Uh, bowlers are competing for $2,000 in gift certificates from Bell Supermarkets. $50 uh, per strike. Uh, the winner of the Channel 4 open will receive any money's not won for strikes. So they're playing for $50 gift certificates per strike. Well, it didn't take Eric long to get his first $50, man. No, indeed. Let's see if he can double up now and take the lead. Our next two bowlers in the next game are Mike Trinisky out of Fulton, New York, and William Pinter from Scarborough, Ontario. Here's Eric Johns. And he is a little light and leaves the 2-4-5. Got that ball out a little more than he wanted to, and he's, he's deep inside. As a matter of fact, when he bowls, you'll hear him kick the rack with his right foot. He's pretty deep inside and getting the ball out and bringing it back. Eric is pretty good at that. He imparts tremendous lift on the ball, and he's able to turn it and finish it on that back end. Oh, and he chops the 2-4-5. So he leaves an open after the first frame strike and falls behind in our match. Tough spare when you're going cross alley. There's the way the lanes are prepared today. There's a little more oil in the center, and the ball kind of sets up sometimes. Eric was using a black hammer. I see he changed bowling balls uh, just before the match started. And carry 
pays the strike. Came in a bit high there. Has his second strike on lane 11. And we go back to Kevin Awaniak now, who has uh, about a 10-pin lead here, uh, Frank. Well, in practice, when the bowlers were warming up, playing uh, similar lines, they were all hitting the pocket extremely well. So, Van, I expect to see good scoring tonight. Kevin bangs it in there and has his first strike. Of course, Kevin up by 11 now. Last three balls are right in the pocket, leaving two seven pins in the first and second frame. Those could have easily been strikes. The money breakdown, $5,000 for the winner tonight, $2,500 for second place, then $1,500 and $1,000 in addition to the bonus that we talked about, the gift certificates from Bells. Whoa. Kevin thought he had the double there. And he'll shoot the 10 pin. Should be a routine spare shot for Kevin. Good spare shoot. And the way the uh, third and fourth places are determined, Van, it's the high game for the losers of the matches that determines third and fourth spot, $1,500 and $1,000. He has part of three house records uh, in five-man competition, Orchard Park, Rose Bowl, and Abbott. A couple over 3,400, another 3,341. Kevin Awaniak. We're back now to uh, Eric Johns, who, uh, with a double here, will come back to uh, a virtual even status in this first game. Needs the double, though. And he gets it. That is his third strike of the match, and his first over on the right lane, number 12. In the previous frame, he got out just a little bit too far. The ball came in late. He corrected, made the adjustment, and got the strike. You see, he has tremendous roll on his ball, man. Just watch that label flip around as the ball goes down the lane. It's, uh, Eric uh, has a great sense of humor. Oh, yeah. He's, as I said, an associate degree in criminal justice. Oh, a great finishing ball in the pocket. That's a triple. And the fourth strike for Eric Johns of Niagara Falls. And he's gone on top here, Frank. Yes. Up by a mark now. Of course, the guys are a little jittery now in the beginning of the match, but uh, even in practice, they're hitting the pocket well. They were hitting the pocket well in practice also. And Kevin Awaniak. He has left a couple of uh, seven pins. And now another 10-pin to shoot at. The second time he's had a 10-pin spare shot. So he's left only one pin spares, Frank. Kevin's game is a little uh, straighter than Eric. Eric goes out and then really finishes the ball hard at the back end. Kevin is more down and in with a tremendous ex extension. And that could be the reason why he's leaving the corner pins. I mean, just a little bit too much speed, not enough room on the back end to mix those pins up. But I'm sure he'll... He'll make an adjustment. He's had every ball in the pocket. Kevin Awaniak down by 10 now through five frames of our first match on the Bells Channel 4 Open. This is Van Miller with Frank Cascio at Brunswick Arrow Lanes. Have a beautiful trophy for the winner also, in addition to $5,000. Oh, another good shot and another 10-pin lead for Kevin Awaniak. But you're right, he may have been wrapping that pocket where Kevin's playing, he's, he's around 9, 10, 11 area. There's a little bit more oil than there is on the outside. And the ball, you can see it slide down and then gradually start to make its, it, it, its turn in to the pocket. And I think that's the reason why he's not carrying that 10 pin. He's just not finishing as hard as Eric is. So we are at the midpoint of our match. And Eric Johns of Niagara Falls, New York, leads by 10 over Kevin Awaniak. And we'll be back with Frank Cascio on the Bells Channel 4 Open. Eric Johns, Eric Johns, who was on a triple, left the bucket, and he's shooting it now, the 2-4-5-8. He was up by 10 in the first game of our Channel 4 Open, and he hits it solidly and saves the mark there. Not an easy shot for him, Frank. No, those those uh, spares aren't, Van. As a matter of fact, back in the second frame, he left the 2-4-5 uh, and missed that one, chopped it. And I'm sure he was thinking about that when he got up 
the last frame. He is now up by exactly seven pins in the match. Eric Johns. That was an important spare for Eric to cover. Four frames to play against Kevin Awaniak of West Seneca. Oh, and he got the tripped up the uh, four pin from behind and got a nice break for his fifth strike. Four of them have come on lane 11 where he got that one. Now, Kevin Awaniak has left two seven pins and three ten pins and has had one strike, and that was in the third frame. And has had every ball in the pocket. And this time he carries. So Kevin Awaniak with his second strike of the match, both of them on lane 12. Still he, seven pins down. Down by seven with three frames to play. Needs a double here. He's running out of time now. There's only three more frames left. The winner of this game is guaranteed $2,500, even if he loses the final. The winner gets $5,000. Plus $50 for every strike, man. That really adds up. Come on, ball. And there's the double for Kevin Awaniak. So now Eric Johns must double himself or give up the lead in this game in the eighth frame. That chop on the 2-4-5 weighs heavily on the Niagara Falls New York bowler, Eric Johns. Taking time. And he buries it and leads by seven. So this one could run right down to the last ball, Frank. Well, Eric really seems to be lined up well, as both bowlers are. The miss in the second frame didn't uh, fluster him at all. He came back with a triple. Then he sent one wide in the sixth frame, leaving the bucket of picking that up. So he's had a single strike, a double, and then now for three in a row, running for three in a row again. And he got the shake and bake there. Boy, that's a very, very big shot. So he's come back with three in a row. And now Kevin Awaniak already down by seven pins in order to keep the margin or the deficit to seven, has to strike here in the ninth frame. Needs this strike, a big ball here for the ninth frame. Oh, well, that's the fourth 10 pin that he has left in this match. He has left two sevens and four tens. And he's put every ball where it should be, then, right in the pocket. This could have been a big game for Kevin. So he is down now by another 10 pins. Down by 17. Eric Johns triple up there. Awaniak needs some strikes here, Frank, to get a little pressure on. Tenth frame, first ball. And he got a wiggle on the two. Well, the only thing I could see from back here, Van, is that, uh, again, where Kevin is playing, he's he reaches out so far, the ball has a tendency to slide a little farther than he wants. He's not getting the good roll like Eric is. And therefore, hitting the pocket, but not mixing the pins the way he should. And there you can and see it goes by the two pin, and it is all over. So Eric Johns is our winner here in game number one. Kevin Awaniak, a disappointing young man, as he walks away with that 194. And Eric Johns, who already has 154 uh, through the seventh frame, looking for his fourth in a row, first ball in the tenth frame. He will go to the finals. And he was light there and left the split. Sent that ball wide. Really didn't get into the ball like he did on, on the other shots. As a result, leaves the 2-4-10. I know Kevin is disappointed in his performance. I, really, he bowled well. He just didn't carry. And uh, that miss in the 10th frame, Van, could, could be a oh, sure. $500 shot because... Cost him. Exactly. Kevin Awaniak had uh, three strikes, so he will get $150 in uh, 
gift certificates from Bells. And now, of course, Eric uh, will continue to add to his total. He had seven in that game for 350. Well, we're going to wind it up, and we'll be back with game two in a moment as Eric Johns goes to the finals of the Bells Channel 4 Open. This is Van Miller back with uh, Frank Cascio, the second semifinal match in our Bells Channel 4 Open. You're looking at 26-year-old Mike Trinisky of Fulton, New York. First ball. In the pocket and leaves the 10 pin. $5,000 first prize, $2,500 second prize, then $1,500, and then $1,000. And a Channel 4 Open bonus. Bowlers are competing for $2,000 in gift certificates from Bell Supermarkets, $50 per strike. And the winner of our Channel 4 Open receives any money not won for strikes. And Trinisky out of Fulton. Cleans up the spare. And now you're looking at the uh, youngest bowler ever to bowl on the Channel 4 Open, William Pinter, a teenager, 19 years old, 5'6", 130 pounds, and in his uh, 12th grade at Winston Churchill Collegiate Institute. He's from Scarborough, Ontario. Carries a 196 average. Here's William. Boy, blew him away there, Frank. Yeah. And he really winds it up, man. Uh, Kind of contrasting balls here. Uh, Mike throws like Kevin did. He's more straighter down and in. And uh, William really gets tremendous lift and roll on the ball like Eric. Sends the ball way out, brings it in from the corner. Both bowlers using the uh, red, red U dots. I know talking with Mike. He seemed to think the lanes were hooking too much, so he changed over. And look at this. William Penner, 19 years old, opens with a double. Well, he seems pretty cool out there for a, a young uh, fella van, uh, really not having that much competition under his belt. First time on TV. Well, when you're 19, you know, you don't worry about too much. <laughs> Here's Mike Trinisky. City singles, doubles, team champion. Oswego County Masters Champion, 1986, enjoys golf and music. He shot a 299 and a 298 this season, and three 300s, and he also had an 804 set in the 86-87 season. Now he's got a very testy 2.8 conversion here, and that little one in the woods back there. This can be a difficult spare. Lanes are tighter in the centers, and the bows have a tendency to slide right by his spares. Well, he got him out of there. That's a tough shot. Mike's been bowling extremely well. As a matter of fact, talking uh, before the show, Friday he'll be leaving for on the Pro Bowlers Tour. And in his uh, finals matches, he bowled extremely well. He averaged the highest of all the, the bowlers, 248 for 11 games, man, in finals match play. Mike Trinisky and his first strike of the match comes on lane num number 11 there you see additional prize winners in this year's Channel 4 Open fifth place of $500 went to Gary Kenyon 450 to Dave Gwinden for seventh and Larry Grapskill was eighth for $425 in ninth place, taking away $350, the 1984 Channel 4 Open winner and always tough, Rich DeLucia. And 12th for $320, Bob Osborne. And we're back to William Pinner, and Pinner going for the triple there at the start of the game and leaves the seven pin. Broke up the 5-7 split. More winners, two Canadians finished 14th and 15th, Craig Woodhouse and Bob McGregor. And in 16th place, Tom Bogdan, who was second in the 85 Open, all winning $300. Beat the champ commentator Mike Haynes was 17th for $250. And rounding out the top 20, Terry Kamen winning $220. And you had over $23 thousand dollars Frank and prize money paid for 70 places That's right over twenty three thousand dollars paid to 70 places 
William Pinter is in the lead in our match, and he is up by 11 pins. Now, Trinisky, who is on a strike in the third, can virtually uh, get that back with a double. But first, Pinter will bowl his fourth frame. He opened with a double and then converted the seven pin. The teenager from Scarborough, Ontario. And that is strike number three. And he really winds it up. And he does. He said. Kind of like Pete Weber. Tremendous turn. Good stroke, follow through, sends the ball out. Good revolutions on the back end and uh, really knocks the pins around. I was really impressed. He came out to beat the champ maybe two or three years ago, Van, as a, a 17-year-old, and it was kind of wild, but he's really improved over the last two years. Mike Trinisky leaves a bucket, did not get up to the pocket, very unhappy with that shot. And now he has a very difficult 2-4-5-8 bucket. Mike is playing like Kevin did in the first game, up around the eighth board, ninth board area, where there's a little bit more oil and the ball doesn't finish as hard as it will when you're outside and that's the way these lanes are prepared for you. Well, he converts it, waiting in the wings to play for the $5,000 first prize in the Channel 4 Bells Open is Eric Johns, who beat Kevin Awaniak 209 to 194. Eric Johns of Niagara Falls, New York. Mike's still down by 11 pins. Has to uh, put something together here. Very nice style, watching him bowl in the finals match. He's very fluid, solid at the line, excellent stroke. And good finish on that ball. Good mix for his second strike, both on lane number 11. Well, let's see if uh, William Pinter now can put a little more pressure on. High single is 288, his high three games 729 at Kennedy Bowlerama. Enjoys squash, racquetball, and tennis as well as uh, bowling. Oh, yes. Excellent yes, shot. indeed. Excellent shot. In his uh, previous match to get to the TV show, he bowled against Larry Grapka, who's been the only finalist seven years in a row. And it was a two-game final. He bowled 545 for two games. He has a lot of cool for a teenager, I'll tell you that. And that coming into this match, he's averaging 245 for all his finals games. Looking for the triple. Whoa, hit it pretty well. Leaves a 10-pin. By the way, uh, William, in addition to bowling, and the other sports we mentioned, uh, squash and racquetball and tennis, plays alto sax in the stage band and concert band and likes to work out. You can see that. He is diminutive, 5'6 and 130. But look at the muscle. You know, he really is a uh, bicep muscle, well developed. And has the 10 pin out of there. Well, Mike is 20 pins down, needs a double here. Well, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back with the second semifinal in the Bells Channel 4 Open after this. Some beef tastes good when stewed with fresh vegetables in your favorite sauce. Other beef tastes better with light seasonings and perhaps a vegetable or two on the side. But a 10 pin in frame number six of our second semifinal on Bells Channel 4 Open, Van Miller with Frank Cascio. The winner of this match goes on to play the final game for a $5,000 first prize in a tournament, a one-day qualifying tournament with total prize money of $23,000. Well, we had 486 entries this year, Van. That's the most we've ever had. And through a series of uh, two-game elimination matches, we took 48 qualifiers and narrow that field down to the four bowlers that are appearing here tonight on, on TV. They had to do quite a bit of bowling to get into the finals. Mike Trinisky is down by 20 pins, and that should help. All three of his strikes have come on lane 11. He's got to find uh, the strike ball for lane 12, and now we're back to 19-year-old William Pinter of Scarborough, Ontario. 
Pinner has a spare up in the sixth frame. He is 118 through the fifth. Is up by about 20 pins, depending what he does on this ball. Oh, he's got it rolling, but he's not going to take the 10 out of there. So William Pinner, who had to shoot a seven pin uh, back in the third frame, now gets to go cross lane at the 10 uh, against the grain of his right hand turn on the ball. So let's see if he can kick this corner pin off there. Eric Johns of Niagara Falls, New York, won the first game over Kevin Awaniak, 209 to 194. No problem. William Pinder. He's up 19 pins now. And we are coming to the eighth frame of uh, game two. Second semifinal. in there pretty well and leaves a 10 pin once again. Trinisky has shot at three 10 pins, a 2-8 and the bucket 2-4-5-8. Pinter has shot at a 7 and a 10 and now a 10 again, trying to hold that lead of 19 pins. Maybe this could be a big now. spare for William shooting this 10 pin. Still keep him almost 20 pins up in the match. Oh boy. He cover. That was it nicely. Well now an opportunity here for Mike Trinisky. He has a strike in the seventh. Bowling in the eighth. Strike here and he'll be under uh, losing the match by less than 20 pins. It's 18 now. He can cut it down to less than a mark. Big shot. Nope. A solid, solid four pin. Looked like he might have been a little bit high, was Yeah, he, he was high, and he looked like he was a little surprised. Uh, he got out of the ball well and, and uh, imparted good lift. The ball came charging back a little high, leaving the uh, four pin. I didn't think he, he thought the ball would break as much as it did on that shot. So Trinisky has the four. Throws relatively straight at his spare shots, uh, comes out from behind the ball, rolling end over end, really flattens the ball out on his spare shots. Down by 18 pins with two frames to play. Neither bowler has had an open. Pinter has had two doubles in the match, and Trinisky has had three solo strikes. Ninth frame needs this. And look at what happened. That's a 4-9, and that's a very, very tough shot to stay clean, a 4-9 split. Again, he thought he laid the ball down well, and it broke just a little bit too much, coming in high, leaving the 4-9. Now, this is important because if he, if he gets one pin here, it doesn't make it. He needs to strike out to win. He just gets one pin to... Uh, come in third place. So Trinisky is open with 165 in the ninth and 19 year old William Pinter of Scarborough Ontario with a mark here can really just about put the match out of uh, reach Mike. With that one pin uh, cover van he needs to triple to tie for the uh, third and fourth place. William Penner, big shot here for the young man, and he's in there pretty good. He got a wiggle out of the 10. That's the third 10 pin that he has left in a row. Throwing the ball well, every ball in the pocket. Really lined up. I'm, a, I'm amazed, Van, that uh, a young bowler like this, first time on TV, with uh, his good concentration, has laid every ball in the pocket. 
closes him out here if he scores this unless he would uh, foul. He goes to 175 through the eighth with a spare. And uh, Trenisky, the best he can do is 195. So that all uh, William Pinner has to do is stay on the bright side of the foul line. did and there he is that's his fifth strike heavy ball in the pocket bowling extremely well today and extremely well well he's shot at a seven and three tens other than that he's had yeah. strikes Frank he, he can go out for a 225 so it will be William Pinter playing Eric Johns of Niagara Falls New York for the five thousand dollar first prize in the Bell's Channel 4 open well, that one got away from him. That's a good place to do that if you're going to do it. Looking at 2.15 now with a conversion on. Slowed his speed down just a hair, probably relaxed, knowing he had the match won, and the ball really took off on the back end. So now Mike Trenisky needs to strike out, as uh, Frank Cascio told you, for 195 and to pick up third place money. Uh, Kevin Waniak had a 194, and third place is worth $1,500, fourth place $1,000. Trenisky needs everything here in the 10th frame. And that means that Kevin Waniak will finish third. Another four pin. A little disgusted. Uh, new ball in the pocket, pulled extremely well. Just didn't carry those those key shots to give uh, William Pinner a little more of a battle. Well, Mike Trenisky uh, did not get a strike on lane 12, where he's finishing up here now. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with a championship match for $5,000 on the Bell's Channel 4 Open. Half thousand dollar game on the Bell's Channel 4 Open. You're looking at Eric Johns, 33 years old, from Niagara Falls, New York, an employee at Harrison Radiator in Lockport. First ball. And Eric is up and high and leaves double pinochle, the 4 6 7 10 split. Well, that ball really took off, and, and I know he didn't expect it to break that hard. Channel 4 open bonus today. Bowlers uh, competing for $2,000 in gift certificates from Bell Supermarket. $50 per strike. And the winner of the Channel 4 open of this game receives oh, any yeah. money not won for strikes. What a shot that was. Kevin Awaniak finished third. $1,500 in cash. $150 in gift certificates from Bell's for three strikes. Mike Kranisky in fourth place from Fulton, New York. $1,000 in cash. $200 in gift certificates from Bell's. And here's the teenager from Scarborough, Ontario, who defeated uh, Mike Trenisky 214 to 185, William Pinter, and his first ball. The winner of this game receives $5,000 plus the bonus certificates from Bell. And William is a little light and has a 2 8 shot. Not easy. Boy, what an effort uh, Eric Johns gave that 4 6 7 10. Frank. Almost picked it up, man. It was a good shot on Eric's part. And this could be a tough spare for William. He, he didn't shoot at too many spares last game. None in the center of the lane. They were all corner pins. Seven and three tens. He, he did not have a multiple pin spare to shoot at. So this is a new experience for 19-year-old William Pinter. Got to come up. Got to come up. He got it. Good finish on that ball. Well, it was, and I never thought that would make it back, man. But it, <laughs> it just hits the ball hard enough to bring it back from the corner. He the sent, really sent that ball wide. The Bell's Channel 4 open. $23,000 in prize money for the one-day qualifier and then the final four tonight on Channel 4, our seventh annual. And we've had some great, great matches. William Pinner averaging... Uh, over 245 for all his qualifying games coming in here tonight. Well, he's got the split to shoot at now. That's a 210. Difficult spare 
sent the ball wide, came in late behind the head pin, just touched the head pin, and it slid over in front of the two, leaving the uh, 210. Not uncommon for bowlers to throw that uh, hard breaking ball like these two fellas do. The ball comes in so wide from the gutter that you get behind the head pin and leave odd spares like this to shoot at. going wide of everything. So he lost that what could be a precious one pin there. Spear here and count and Eric can take the lead that quickly. Eric Johns who was open in the first frame on the four six seven ten split. He's got three of them. A spare puts him up by a couple of pins or a strike. No sir. So the 2-5, and that's a very choppable shot. Fuller sending the, their shot wide. Ball's not coming back like it should. It's only center spares can be difficult, man. There's always a, the problem of chopping the spare. And he cover. covers both pins. So Eric Johns says a couple pins up now. He is nine now with a spare in the second and Pinner at 18 in the first and then uh, open with that 210 split. You'll hear Eric on the even lane always kick the, uh, the rack as it releases the ball. He doesn't have that problem on the, of course, on the left side. And there's the strike. I wonder if that affects his game at all when he gets up on that, that even right-hand lane and he knows that he's going to be hitting the, the ball return that hard. Now William Pinter, $5,000 to the winner. $2,500 to the second-place finisher. And we, of course, gave you the third and fourth. Kevin Awaniak, 1500 cash. Plus the gift certificates, Mike Kraniski, a thousand cash, plus 200 of Mel's gift certificates. Not quite enough of the pocket to carry, and a four pin lead. Should be a routine spare for William Pinter. Ida Simpson, our scorekeeper. The Channel 4 opens seventh year for at Brunswick Arrow Lanes in Buffalo. But he'll probably send the ball wide again and bring it back on the back end. So a little straighter down the middle. And that's what happens, man. Uh, and shot he like went that. by it. He is open on what should have been a routine conversion of the four pin. And he has left a big open now for Eric Johns, who has that strike in the third. With William Pinner. The way the lanes are oiled tonight, there's a little more in the center. So the ball hits that oil and just sets there in the middle. Whereas if he, the farther out to the right, he would throw the ball and come back harder on the back end. And I'm sure he didn't expect that ball to go that straight down the center. And he was pounding the pocket in that uh, first game. He left only four one pin spare. Well, he's back there now. So William Pinner has his first strike of this match. And now let's see if Eric Johns can take advantage of that open in the third frame by William Pinner and Pushes lead up here to maybe 24 pins with a double. He did, and I mean, he buried it, Frank Cascio. Well, he had to come through on that shot to get a, a good lead, a good jump on uh, William, and he did. And Eric's pretty cool. He's been bowling enough tournaments. He's always out bowling in tournaments, and uh, I don't think the pressure really bothers him that much. Puts a lot of time in his game plan, practices a lot, and, and the results show. Another strike here puts him up 24 pins. And he's got one moving, and he didn't take the 10 out of there. So he's plus 23. In the match. But Pinner, remember, has a strike in the fourth frame. So 
so he can get some of that back. And Eric John still has to convert the 10 pin. And he got it all. So he opened with a 4 6 7 10 split and then went spare strike strike and now spare. And he's up by 23. Strike, strike here, and uh, he'll he'll uh, be up by 13 pins. Bear takes a lot of time on that approach. Oh, I mean, it was there, wasn't it? Yes, sir. It's 13 pins now. Well, he seems to be back in the groove. He was a little rattled there, not getting strikes for three frames and uh, missing that one spare. Concentrated a little harder, came back with the double. Very important double. Made a great recovery after missing that four pin. He had two opens in a row on the 210 split and the missed four pin on a routine shot. One more here, and he is right back with it. in a row. No. Got the four pin. I don't think he'll miss it this time, Frank Cascio. No, he shouldn't, as long as he, he goes a little wide and then brings it back. Uh, or if he goes straight at it, it's a little deceiving. Shooting for spares, you would think the lane would carry it right into the, the four pin, but it, it hits the center where there's more oil and on the ends and the ball slides right through. So he's thinking about that last spare he shot at. And he's got it. We'll be back. He's down by 14 pins in the $5,000 game of the Bells Channel 4 Open. We'll be back after this. Leading by 14 has just put a strike in in the sixth frame. And he can add to that lead now. Push it up to about 24 again with a double here against the teenager from Scarborough, Ontario. Big shot for Eric Johns. Four frames to play in the $5,000 game on the Bells Channel 4 Open. And he had him ball in there but not the six pin almost got away with that shot as soon as he laid it down he knew he was high and the ball set didn't break as hard and has a routine spare could have been trouble four six spare shot in the seventh frame for Eric Johns no problem now William Pinner has to make up a mark and a half here somehow. So he needs a couple of strikes. John's 118 through the sixth, then a spare. There you see Pinner. And a big miss on the four pin. Really hurt him. He'll really be concentrating on this shot. He, he spends a lot of time on the approach. Of getting his good concentration. Well, he's lined up a lot much better now, Van. The first two frames a little shaky. Maybe coming into that final match. Last what? five balls have been in the pocket. Yes, indeed. And a chance to double here in the eighth frame and cut it down to a four pin lead for Eric Johns. A double will do that. beat Mike Trinisky 214 to 185. Johns beat Kevin Owaniak 209 to 193. Well, he came in high, and even at that, he didn't get any movement on the 10 pin, but got away with it. Broke it up. Could have been a split. He uh, wasn't that far off, man. He, right near that 1 3 pocket. Ball just broken. Of course, he, he turns the ball so much that that ball just breaks hard and goes right through the pins. Oh, and that's, that's a costly miss. Oh, and he misses the 10 pin. Well, those spares count so much. And a missed 4 pin and now a missed 10 pin. And now Eric Johns, by just staying clean, is going to make it... Uh, 
very, very difficult for Pinner to win this match. It uh, takes a lot of pressure off of Eric. Stick to business here. Of course, with only three frames to go, it's no time to get careless. No, no, that's right. Well, there's a big shot. He jumped right on it. That's his fourth strike of this game. And that is a big one. He's up 26 pins now. Another strike, and then be up 36. He has had only one strike on lane 11. His last three have come on lane 12. He had the double in frames three and four. And he can really put the clamp on with a strike here in the ninth. Now, 11 might be breaking a little bit more. Both bowlers have been coming high. Let's see if he makes a correction in this lane. very big double for Eric Johns. The winner of this game wins $5,000 and becomes the seventh winner of our tournament. The Bells Channel 4 Open. Will has, has, William has to strike out here to stay in this match. He's every strike. And that one is right in there. Yeah, that sounded like a strike to me. <laughs> His last three have come over on lane 12. But the two shots that he will remember in this final match are the miss four pin and the miss 10 pin. Tremendous concentration in one. He spends a lot of time on the approach, really glaring at the pins. Nope. It will not be for William Pinner. Same problems that he had earlier on lane 11. He sends the ball down around the 10th, 11th board. It sits there and then just jumps high. And he had that problem earlier, actually with both bowlers. But, so, uh, you know, just the fact that uh, in a field of uh, 486 bowlers that a 19-year-old player would reach the final four is uh, testimony to the excellent bowling that this young man can do. So William Pinner with another open and goes to 160 a disappointing 160 in the final game with a five thousand dollar first prize on the line and you're looking at the champion Eric Johns and we're going to take a break now as he strikes his first ball in 10th we'll be back in just a moment of Niagara Falls, New York, is the uh, winner of our seventh annual Bell's Channel 4 Open. Eric, congratulations to you, partner. Great shooting. Now, we're going to start you off for that nice big check for $5,000 and present this trophy to you from Brunswick Arrow Lanes as the winner of our tournament today, and that is only the beginning. Now, let me call in the Super Bell spokesman, Danny Nevereth, who has some other awards to tell us about. Hiya, partner. How you doing there, Ben? Thank you. Congratulations, Eric. In addition to the money that was given out, we also have gift certificates from the Bell Supermarkets, always interested in Western New York athletics. $200 in Bell's gift certificates going to Mike Brzezinski, $150 in Bell certificates to Kevin Awaniak, $450 in Bell certificates to William Pinter, and for you, Eric, we've got $1,200 worth of Bell's shopping certificates. Again, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, Danny, thank you. Good to thank see you. Thank you, Grant. Well, that's the story of our seventh annual Bell's Channel 4 Open. It all started with a uh, one-day one day qualifier, 486 bowlers, and it all boiled down to one man. This man, Eric Johns of Niagara Falls, New York. You started out with a 4, 6, 7, 10, but you really picked it up from there. Yes, today just happened to be my lucky day today. Well, not lucky day, skillful day. Congratulations. So that's our story. On behalf of our tournament director, Frank Cascio, this is Van Miller speaking for Danny Nevereth and all the gang at Bell Supermarkets and for Channel 4. We'll see you next year for another exciting Bell's Channel 4 Open. So long, everybody. The Bell's Channel 4 Open has been brought to you by Bell Supermarkets with three ways to save you more. Channel 4 Open is sanctioned by the American Bowling Congress, 